From swimming to a pool of the expert knowledge that contributes to the sport of archery. Here at this Nottingham factory near Sherwood Forest, we discovered that the craft of making bows and arrows still flourishes. Much more complex than the bows of Robin Hood's days, the body of the modern bow is made from laminated rosewood and maple. The laminates are glued together, emerging from the jig in one piece before being shaped on the sanding machine. The bows vary according to individual requirements. This process, for example, which is called tillering, ensuring that the bow is properly balanced, is performed at different weights, from 26 pounds for a lady's bow and up to 45 pounds for a man's. Here's another example of the factory's made-to-measure service. That's Roy Matthews, British champion archer and third in the World Championships, who's decided he'll be a little bit more on target with a little bit more off the grip. The bowstring, made from a synthetic fibre, is waxed to help it withstand the stresses to which it is later subjected. And finally, the bow is polished off in the sense you see here, of course. Made of aluminium, the arrows, or shafts, are from 24 to 28 inches long and weigh from 250 to 400 grains, a grain being 0.0648 of a gram. Lights made from turkey feathers are shaped on this red-hot wire. A result of this process is the expression talking turkey, meaning they're so cold without feathers that their beaks chatter. With the arrows painted, sit back and watch them zing through the air. You've already been introduced to Roy Matthews on the left, the archer on the right is Don Hand, Notts County champion, captain of Sherwood Forest and holder of the coveted Golden Arrow. And if she'll forgive us for introducing her last, the lady in the middle is Don's wife, Barbara. Such is the skill of these archers, such is the accuracy of their bows, that we really get a bull's eye view.